hello guys welcome to another tutorial today we're going to be taking a look at how to swap images you know based on the screen size and now what I'm saying is I'm not talking about um, using um, different images and hiding some you know using display none. no I'm talking about actually just swapping it out without using you know display none okay all you need to do is to put one image in your you know design and then use the new HTML um, not very new um, the HTML picture tag to swap out the image using source set okay and media queries all right now if you take a look at this um, you'll find that let's look at the code um, you'll find that um, this image is all they're all in a text in, in a div you know with the tag of picture and then you can see that we have the image that is showing here here and here there are three images okay now only one of them is an image only one of them has the image tag so what happens here is that um, these two have the tag of source okay these and these and this has the image tag so what is going on is that based on the media query the image element is being replaced by any of this okay so what is going on here is that um, the these images are not actually loaded on your website no they are not loaded now only one image is loaded and depending on you know the screen size the browser will automatically pick the source of this image element it will pick the source from any of this depending on the size of your viewport okay so you see this is source set source set and then the source okay all right so that is why you know um, these images change is a very good alternative to you know putting three images on your website and then um, choosing display none at a certain breakpoint and um, because if you're going to use that method it means that all the three images are going to be loaded okay and it's just that the browser isn't displaying it for you to see but it's loaded but in this case only one image is loaded per time all right let's go into oxygen and see how we can do this okay right here in oxygen I have a simple setup of uh, columns two columns okay so you have uh, the two columns set up here you have two divs inside the column okay on the right hand side I have my text and the button and then on the left I have just a single image element now if you go on to the front end to look at this you can see that um, this image you know remains the same okay all throughout all right so let me close this now okay because we noticed that that image wasn't looking really good I'm going to set the width to a hundred percent okay so that um, okay the reason I want to do that is this let's take a look at uh, at some breakpoint you can see it's not filling up you know this space so that is why I want to set it to a hundred percent so set the image to a hundred percent okay uh, now let's start what we're going to be using is what is called the picture tag okay the picture tag has this format so you have picture okay and then inside it you have three you know elements not necessarily three you can have more but you have two tags the source tag and the image tag okay now the source tag has attributes of media query and the source set which is which has to do with the you know the URL you know where the picture is that you want to put you want to swap in and uh, you could create as many um, media queries as possible different source okay and then you have the image source now this image source is compulsory without the image source there is no there is no image because what this does is actually picks the source from this okay this is not an image tag so it will not display any image on its own all right so um, the good thing is with oxygen 3.8 uh, with the introduction of custom tags it's possible to do this in oxygen without using a code block uh, formerly you would need to use a code block for this but now you can do it without a code block all right now let's just um, take a look at the use case um, so when can you use when do you, do you need to use the picture element okay you can use it for two main purposes okay and then one bandwidth if you have a small screen or device it is not necessary to load uh, large files okay so you want to 
put a small image on your website, but then you need also to put a large image for the large screen. So you could, you know, um, use the source and, and the source set, you know, to load the bigger images. All right. And the browser is going to load the images with the matching attributes, you know, depending on the screen size and it's going to ignore the other ones. Okay. And then another reason you want to use it is uh, another use case is, you know, format support. For instance, you have different picture formats. Okay. And then you would want the browser to choose the one that is support. So you can have, um, an example would be you, you have a picture that is a PNG and you also have a picture that is JPEG. Okay. And then, um, you, you want to serve both of them so that any browser that doesn't support PNG will take the JPEG version. Okay. So, and then of course you, you use your, you know, your image to, you know, pull in, you know, the images from this source set. All right, let's just go into practical. All right. So, um, I have an image here. It's a simple setup. One thing you have to realize is the image will have to have to be in a div. Okay. So you need to put this image inside a div because you're going to give the div the tag of picture. Okay. So I'm just going to rename this to picture. Okay. So let me just, uh, rename this just for, it is not compulsory just for, you know, to make it easy to identify, you know, the div we're working with. I'm going to call that picture, but the most important thing is if we go down here and you have to be on oxygen 3.8. Okay. To be able to use custom tag. Okay. So I'm going to select this div and then I'm going to change, um, check that and then change this tag to picture. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is to add a div, just an empty div. Let me move that to the top. Uh, I'm going to put an empty div there. And then I want to quickly rename this to source. Okay. So that's where we're going to source our image from. All right. And also going to change the tag to source. Okay. Now the next, now we really don't need to see it. So I can just, you can hide it in the, in the builder. Okay. So you could just click on this. You don't need to see it. It doesn't need to be visible. Okay. Now I'm going to go to advance with that source selected, that div selected. I'm going to go to attributes and then I'm going to add two attributes. The first one is going to be media. Okay. And then the second one is going to be the source set. All right. Now let me go ahead and pin this, uh, two attributes so that if I'm on the primary tab, I can see them here. Now the media, the first value I'm going to give it will be, um, I'm going to give it a media query. So I'm going to give it a minimum width. Okay. Now I want that image to appear uh, up to a minimum width of uh, 780 pixels. Okay. Now let me quickly mention the first image that you, you have here, the very first image that you include here, um, should be the image you want to display at the smallest screen size. Now you could do, you could do it the other way around, but it's going to be much straightforward writing the media query using the minimum width for your source, you know, set is going to be much more straightforward if you are using, you know, the image, if you play, if this first image is the one you're going to use for the smallest screen size. So what we have here is that, um, at the minimum width of, uh, from a width below 780, the image we're going to put here will no longer display. Okay. So that this is basically the first image, the image that is going to display on the biggest screen. So from the larger size up to a size of 780 pixel, you will want the image that is going to be in this source set to display. So to put the value here, we're going to put the URL of the image that we want to display at this screen size. Okay. At this media query. So I'm just going to select this image so I can go into the browser, um, and, uh, the image browser. All right. And then I'm going to copy the URL. Okay. And then I'm going to come back here and then paste that URL here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I just want to duplicate this. Okay. All right. For the second one, I'm going to make it, or you can see the image has already changed because that is the, that is the one to display on the large screen. Now, uh, I'm going to change the second one to 480 pixel. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to copy the next image I want. So this is the image I want to display next. Okay. I'm going to copy that URL and then of course go back here and then replace this. Okay. So now, um, what we want is at a minimum width of 480. Okay. This image is going to display from 780 from the previous one up till 480. All right. Let's just look at it on the front end. 
okay and probably if we refresh this it's gonna solve that now I'm gonna refresh this so you can see that the large image shows first now if I go into responsive mode okay let me just and then by the time I get down to you know 780 okay it changes to this image and by the time I go down to 480 it changes to this so let's say we are on let's say on you know no responsive this is what we're gonna see and then if we go to iPad well, this is what we're gonna see but we will flip to the bigger you know orientation okay we see this and then uh, when we go to the phone the this is what we're gonna see so this is a very you know useful um, useful feature of, for HTML tag so um, what I want you to also take note is that this is not supported in Internet Explorer and some older versions of Safari so what is going to happen is in those you know browsers just the image that is available will show which is this one so these other ones will not show okay so this image is just going to show up all right so that is all for you know swapping images um, based on different viewport size um, using the picture tag and the source set you know tags uh, and the source tags you know with source set and um, media query I hope you learned something new and uh, if you learned from this you know tutorial if you if you really like it uh, maybe you should hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't and also share this um, you know tutorial with other people so they can learn also all right have a great day and see you next time